All right, so I read the story this morning. I thought it was a great idea. Yeah, and I have mixed feelings. I, you know, I think as a parent, you're making that own decision. Yeah, it's a privacy, a little thing. I think mm -hmm. what might be something good, though, is you may say, hey, you can drive, but if I feel that you're being unsafe, this is the consequence. You'll right. get one of these things in your car. I think definitely maybe that first year, especially if the driving yeah. age stays the same at 16 years old to have a license, I think that first year, we, they should have to have one of those in the car to uh, regulate. That's great. Right All right to your phone immediately. That's what I'm talking scary. about. They already have stuff <laughs> like that too on cell phones with those yeah. trackers. Let's head over to Jared. We want you to weigh in this morning. Yeah, you know, it's crazy that they're coming out with all types of different technological advances. And I remember, I think it was a few weeks ago, we uh, had a Facebook talker about whether you think the driving age should be in increased. And this is kind of along those same lines, but this kind of takes it a step further. So if you see the monitor uh, to my right, we've got it as our morning talker today. Some good information on the page. I think the most interesting thing, I was kind of uh, wondering how much this device costs, but I found out that if if you are a AAA member and your teen is insured under your plan, it's free of cost. So you can just get it installed. So I think that's interesting. Of course, not everyone is a AAA member, but if you are, it might be something you want to look into. So we're asking our Facebook fans today what they think. And we got a very good comment at the bottom uh, from Cindy, who obviously is a parent. I would say if a parent cannot trust their teen, they shouldn't be driving at all. And I think that kind of goes along the lines of, hey, you, you, you want to have that mutual trust between parent and teen. But of course, driving can be very dangerous. We see a lot of accidents. It's one of the biggest causes of, of deaths in, in the country usually is, is automobile accidents. So it's going to be interesting. I'd like to hear the other side of it. I'd love it if a couple of our uh, couple of our teenage drivers maybe chimed in and tell us what they think if they think it's too much. But it might be a little bit too early for them to be waking up now on a uh, summer day. But if we do get some comments, we'll certainly uh, read them on the air. Facebook.com slash NBC 25. Certainly an interesting one, Liz. I, I definitely was uh, piqued my interest uh, when I read it this morning when it was in the rundown. Yeah, I don't think it's a situation of not trusting your yeah. teenager i think it's just i think teenagers have a lot to deal with now yes. when it comes to driving as and far experience as too. texting and driving you yeah. have cell phones um, in those cases when you're using that you tend to speed up you're not looking you're yeah. not paying attention and to have little things like that it might you know reinforce to your teenager like oh you know my parents are watching and remind them that they have to be responsible and they have to drive carefully because it's not happening teenagers are making mistakes and sometimes they're deadly mistakes certainly interesting i remember when i was driving i had a little bit of a lead foot when i first started and mm -hmm. i got a couple of speeding tickets and oh yeah i was a terrible down. driver yeah, when I, and, first yeah I mean it's driving. just like it's just like anything else you do for the first time and, and of course the stress is now of teens having all those other distractions with their with their friends in the car and of course now with the advent of cell phones i didn't have a cell phone until i turned 16 yeah. because i was driving and my mom wanted to make sure that if something happened i could call her from anywhere anytime i had to purchase my own car in the beginning my mom made me buy my own car she helped me a little bit but then i had to pay her month Mm -hmm. for my car and then I have other friends that are like driving sports oh, cars and all these guys <laughs> have these and when you have sports cars like that at 16 years old <gasps> you want to go fast you're encouraging yes, children yeah. to drive at fast speeds because this is these are what these cars are you know advertised for interesting it's well, ridiculous we'll see what happens throughout the day you know of course you've got all day to I comment just, on it. I definitely have a strong opinion on vehicles and driving mm -hmm. for teenagers We'll be right so back. Here's today's deal. It's amazing what it can do. I have to say I'm impressed with the technology, uh, setting limits and boundaries and things like that. Yeah. Uh, it's a new thing. So with new things come kind of controversial topics. I mean, that's right. Is it right? Is it too much? I think parents have a right to regulate every uh, aspect of their child's life. And I think this is a way for us to regulate something that seem to be out of our hands. Right. Especially with uh, cell phone use and text texting while driving and speeding. Um, and unfortunately, it's, you know, not, it's not so much even the teenagers sometimes, it's other factors that they can't control either. It's other drivers and making sure they're safe and knowing where they well, are. Yeah, it's not even teenage drivers. I know as uh, our parents get older and the elderly, sure. and it's, it might, this might even be a good idea to put in a I think the car. big talker will be, are they going to put it in maybe in your spouse's car or <laughs> maybe in your, your parents' car? I think that's where the line might get a little bit uh, hazy there. Yeah, let's send it over to Jared to see what's going on. Yeah, we've got some comments on this this morning. We got a comment from a teenage driver. First, I want to get to one of the parents' comment who posted right on our website at MiamiCNews.com. An interesting little quirk, you can actually post Facebook comments directly onto our website, so you can skip that step of going to our Facebook page. But anyways, let's uh, check out the monitor. Jeannie posted, I think it's a wonderful tool. What scares parents of new drivers is the inexperience. It's been over 20 years since my first one started driving, and, and Jeannie can still remember those 
those butterflies in her stomach with this tool. The parents will have teaching moments when necessary. If the young drivers do well, then the parents eventually will stop using it. And if you head over to our Facebook page, look at Marky. You guys remember Marky, right? As yeah. a teen, I wouldn't really mind this because they would know right where I am if I was in danger. So it, it kind of goes along with, all right, you know, there's a give and take between the parents and the kids. There has to be that trust. And if you're not using it to, you know, abuse every little mistake, like if a, you know, a kid maybe by accident goes a few miles an hour over the speed limit, you don't have to take the driver's license away just for that. Maybe that's a, more of a teaching moment. But of course, if there's danger, the, you know, the parents know where they are and know how to get to them. I like how Jeannie Coleman called it a teaching moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that about uh, parenting because there are several teaching moments through life and this would actually uh, create several more. Well, it's good. I hope just everyone's out there being safe. That's right.